Hey guys, sorry for the delay on this episode, I've been really busy, but you know what, let's just get straight into this episode. First off, we see an NPC who is called the Weapon Master, and he is an Archean I think, and he helps you through Skylands. In Chapter 20, Quicksilver Vault, we see the Archean Blasters, which are turret-like enemies that shoot electro balls every now and then, so you'll need precise dodging to beat them. In the same level, we meet the Archean Defender, which uses its shield to power its attacks. So the more you try and attack it when it shields up, the more damage it'll do if it hits you. In the same level, we see the Archean Ultron, which seems to be an elite Archean enemy, which shoots in the air whilst it shields up. And then when it shields down, it uses very powerful lasers to attack you. The last enemy of Sparrow's Adventure, in the expansion pack, Chapter 26, Dragon's Peak, we see the Archean Hammer, which is basically the same as the Archean Defender, except it doesn't get more power when you attack its shield. Coincidentally, practically all of Giants is based on Archeans, because 10,000 years ago, the most elite Archeans ruled the world in evil. In Chapter 1, Time of the Giants, we see the Archean Jouster, which has no shield or anything. It's quite a simple and basic Archean enemy. It's argued over if this is a boss or not, but we do see a giant Archean that we have to defeat in the first level. But don't worry, it's pretty darn easy. We see the Archean Crackler in Chapter 9, Chaos's Castle, and it duplicates itself but it's really easy to figure out which one is the real one, and it barely ever attacks, so don't really worry about this guy. In Chapter 6, Secret Vault of Secrets, we see the Archean Bomber, who sh shoots these weird energy balls at you, but luckily you can pick them up and throw them back at him to damage him. We see my favourite Archean here, Archean Shield Juggernaut, which is another elite Archean, along with the Archean Ultron, and it swings its giant shield arm things at you and it can also use its shields to shoot a giant laser which takes up a lot of its energy. So luckily, now's your best time to attack. In Chapter 14, Auto Gyro Adventure, we see the Archean Duelists, which are pretty cool looking Archeans and they slam their swords into the ground and charge up and once they're ready, they do a cool slice attack. In the same level, there's a secret where you can find a good Archean who doesn't want to fight you or anybody and disobeys Chaos, even though he's meant to be his minion. He just wants to play Skystones. Then last but not least, we see Robo Chaos, which is an Archean version of Chaos when he picked up the Iron Fist of Ultron, which was used to be worn by one of the most powerful Archeans in the world. But now he's gotten a hold of it and you have to try and destroy the fist it's a very cool boss fight and a great way to finish on the whole Archean based game. In Chapter 4, Rampant Ruins, we see the Archean Barrel Bots, which shoot these bits of electric. They shoot two to be exact, and they both split after an amount of time, so they're pretty easy to dodge. But don't worry, these guys are also pretty low on health. A little bit further on in the level, we see these guys, the Archean Rip Rotors, who are kind of cute to be honest. They have one big shining eye and they like to spin with axes that are on their hands. They're completely invincible until they slam down and get a little bit dizzy after all that spinning. In Rampant Ruins once again we see the Archean Slam Shocks, which are the heavy class of enemy in Scanner Swap Force, which means that when their shields are up they're invincible, but after attacking you can hit them. And what's special about these guys is when they try to attack you, they also send an electric pulse soaring through the ground so that they can try and attack you as well. In the next chapter, Chapter 5, Jungle Rumble, we see Evil Glumshanks, who has built a vehicle using all of the scrap Archean parts that he found in the Archean graveyard. Now, he tries to drive into you, but there's not much about him that's that Archean-like. Evil Glumshanks also sends out a minion called the Archean Knuckle Duster. Now, this guy is basically just a short-ranged Archean Barrel Blaster because he shoots tons of bullets right in front of him. In Chapter 6, Iron Jaw Gulch, we see this big bad brute called the Fire Gear Golem. I class him as an Archean and I'll class all of the other Gear Golems as Archeans as well. Now this guy basically just shoots fire right in front of him so he's very easy to dodge which is fine because he's the first and the easiest Gear Golem. 
we see the air gear golem in chapter 8, Twisty Tunnels. This guy looks so cool, I like him a lot. He can turn into this sort of tornado thing, reminds me a lot of Free Ranger, and whilst doing this he's invincible until he slams on the ground, which does a lot of damage, but now is your time to attack. In chapter 11, Winter Keep, we see the Ice Gear Golem, who isn't my favourite because his attack is kind of boring. He shoots three icicles in front of him, which can slow you down if it hits you. I just don't like this guy for some strange reason. On to the next one. In chapter 14, Phantasm Forest, we see this very intimidating Tech Gear Golem. And he's intimidating because he shoots a lot of stuff at you and you're not prepared for it ever, no matter what you do. He shoots tons and tons of these little gear bits at you and if you're stuck in it, then you're going to get a lot of damage taken off you. So be very careful when fighting these guys. Moving away from all of this Gear Golem stuff, we see the K-Bot Gloop Gunner in Chapter 15, Chaos's Fortress. And this guy is pretty basic. He just shoots a blow of goo at you and you can see where it's going to hit when it falls down, which makes it a lot easier. Yeah, this guy's fairly easy. In the same chapter, we see this strange robot, but do not take him for granted. The K-Bot Mine Miner is nothing to play around with. He shoots explosive eyeballs from his head, and he can also teleport as well. But the coolest thing of all is that he can zap electricity, which you need to jump over to dodge. Does anyone think he looks like that Pokemon Clay doll? And the final arcane of this chapter is the K-Bot Splode Shard. He is... Something, I guess. He looks like a caterpillar, but he basically spins this spiky roller around and it's invincible whilst it rolls it around, but it slams onto the ground, making it uninvincible. Man, there's a lot of enemies that seem to slam the ground and then you can attack them. It's a little bit more exotic over in the Sheepbrick Islands, which is an expansion pack. We see the Vortex Gear Golem, which can shoot these weird Cyclops guys out of their inside and they can also summon a little swirly thing which can teleport you way closer to it so that it can attack. It's a very smart Archean. Now for the final Archean of Swap Force, this guy is very powerful, the Clock Gear Golem. He spins his top body around which can damage you greatly and he is invincible until you stop the clock, which is kind of this level's main mechanic. But watch out, if he's still spinning he can get you in a corner and you could die. After this game, Trap Team, Superchargers, they had nothing. We thought that the Archeans were gone for good. But then Imagineers brought them back, yay! We have this unnamed Archean enemy, which holds two of these cool blade things, and it kind of attacks you as if they were scissors. So I guess they're kind of like shortcut. Also, we see these other Archeans, which have a nice hair dude, got to say, but they shoot bullets out of their hands. They're pretty basic, which is probably why they're on the first level. Okay guys, that's the end of this video today. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe if you're not already. Hit the notification bell and leave a like and comment what your favourite Arcane is. Goodbye. Ha, you thought I was going to end the video without talking about the Skylanders? First off, Drill Sergeant is a tech Skylander from Sparrow's Adventure and he is kind of like an Arcane that rebelled against his Arcane Emperors, I guess. And then he helped fight bad guys. And then we see Chop Chop, who is another Archean from Sparrow's Adventure, and he was mixed with Tech and Undead, so if there was dual elements, he'd be a Tech and Undead. And yeah, he's kind of like a ghost Archean kind of thing, it's very confusing, but he's pretty cool. And finally we have Crypt King, who used to be a king, but then he got trapped inside a suit of Archean armour, and then he became Crypt King. Now for the proper outro. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as I said before, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I will see you guys later.